All right, I'm having a small little problem here. Like I said, it's not a big deal, but it is kind of annoying. Okay, so for my internet browser, it moves. Like this, the debug settings does not move. And other, I deleted them because I'm never gonna really use them, but the other ones I installed, they don't move either. I think it's one other one that does move, but I don't use that neither. The only main ones is the debug settings and the internet browser. So, with the internet browser, say for instance, I play a game. Now, okay, you see the internet, these two right here, and we got a game. Let's you see how my internet browser moved? So if I go to another game. Uh, I think I can go home now. Let's see. Yeah, I can. Oops. Go home. So it moved again. Let's go to another game. So I'm just thinking about, you know, because we put our systems to sleep where we don't really have to use the internet browser to uh, jailbreak the system again. But I'm just trying to think ahead of time. So I'm playing, you know, playing different games or whatever. Over time, you know, the system is asleep. I'm playing different games throughout different days. So now ideal, ideally, if I want to keep this here, I should click on it about now. Because if I play any other game, Now, oh wait, it's still there, hold on. I should do it now, I forgot. Okay, I thought it was, now if I play any other game, let's see. Okay, I gotta find something that I'm actually gonna play. Those, I forgot, I need a disc, those, okay. Okay, so like I play another game while that internet browser was at the end of the list. Now it's gone. It's no longer here. So you would think all I have to do if I want to use it again, let's say my system turns off for some reason. Power loss or, you know, sometimes our system crash for what we're doing. You would think all I have to do is come down here and go to it, right? But this is what happens. Cannot run. So now I'm stuck. So now at this point, I can, I have options. If I didn't run that before the last, when it was sitting here, See, if it was sitting here and then I ran it, then it will go back to the front. It will go back, like, yeah, it will sit here. But if I didn't do that, now my options is to reinstall it. So then it will pop up here, which, you know, that's a headache. I mean, you have to sit here and plug in something and do all that. I mean, and it only takes a second, but still, that's inconvenient. Or I can use my uh notification which but it's different from my install like if i go to my notification and then go to web browser like i don't have what that was like if i go to something it's just it's going to be different it has a different ip or uh it's just different and I don't really like it. It's like old. 
and then it pops up as 3.1 like I can't change it I probably can I don't know but I like the web browser that was here because it's, it's different it has what I want but it's no longer here so I have to reinstall it and that's what sucks so I'm hoping that we can figure or I can't do it but I'm hoping that someone can figure out how to get it to stay up here like this does this does not move the uh, debug settings so if we can get it to just stay there I know like later if we have a higher update you know um because we on three what were we on some people on three point or 4.02 or something like 4.03 yeah and then some people on 4.50 which that's where I'm at and then like the highest person right now is on 4.51 uh, all these firmwares does not support where we can keep a certain game or app right here. I think that's later on versions. Um, I don't remember what version it was, but I know it came with a version where we can place apps here permanently without it moving. So if we can figure out how to get that to do what this is doing, because this does not move. As you can see, I ran like five, six, seven games, something like that. And this stays. Along with these, uh, some other apps that I had up here that's installed, I delete them, like I said, because I don't use them. They actually stay right here, too. So if we can get that web browser to do the same thing, that'll be awesome.